So a number of you folks reached out to me and asked me to do another video on the Gana Glitch. Mainly because there were new updates and probably because I didn't really explain everything in the detail that I usually do. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Gana Glitch on the latest update. And for any future updates from the developers, this is the video that I will update to let you know if the Gana Glitch still works or not. Please make sure to read the description of this video for any future updates. If you're looking to defeat Gana, I do have videos on every difficulty and I also have step-by-step -step guides. But if you're still finding her difficult or you just want to have some fun and watch her do this, then this video is for you. Before you try this out, please listen to everything that I have to say. A lot of you say that it doesn't work for you, but I want to emphasize that it's more about your timing. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. In order to spawn Gana, all you have to do is reach this location and pick up this book. When she's in front of you, turn around and approach the ledge, you should see this circle. Now do a quick turn so that you're facing Gana again. Make sure to equip Freya with Steel Harmony, which is her runic summon. Now this glitch can be done using only Freya's runic summon and doesn't require you to use any relic attacks. But, I highly recommend to use a relic attack because we need to damage Gana. I'll explain that in a bit. The Hilt of Skofnook will do well here. Now I'm going to use my Relic Attack with Elven and Circle and as soon as I am done with that, immediately I'm going to hold down the square button so that Freya can do her runic summon. Then I'm going to do a quick turn so that I'm facing the ledge where I need to get off and I can see the circle. Now this is where the timing comes into play. You need to press the circle button to descend the ledge just before it is about to disappear. If you do it too early, it's not going to work. If you do it too late, the circle button is going to disappear and you will be locked into a fight with Gana. If it doesn't work, just restart the checkpoint. How can you tell if the glitch worked? Well, if you're hanging off the ledge and Freya's runic summon ends, Gana will start walking towards you or will start attacking Freya or Kratos for that matter. If she just stands there and doesn't attack, it means that the glitch didn't work. Restart your checkpoint. Now if you're still having issues with the timing, you can see my timer with the Soulless Warrior on the left and you can time it with that so that you can get it right. Now please 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 just listen to this very carefully. Now that the glitch worked, you're hanging off the ledge and Gana is attacking you, you have to wait between 10 to 12 minutes. Because it's gonna take Freya this long to deplete Gana's 2 HP bars. Go make yourself a sandwich, take a bathroom break or just wait it out. Once Gana's HP bars are down by 2, she will do this. Yep, jumping to her death for Asgard. That's a sight to behold. Alright, now to deplete the rest of her HP bar. Now there are only certain attacks that can hit her when she's down there. Number 1. Freya's Arrows. Move Kratos around and keep pressing R3 so that you can lock onto her. It's gonna take you a while, but with proper positioning, you should be able to lock onto her. Once you lock on, press the square button and you'll see that Freya's arrows will connect with Gana. Number 2. Runic Attacks Not all runic attacks connect, but these ones do. Number 3. Relic Attacks If you are logged on to her, you can press L1 and Circle to use the Hilt of Skofnu Relic Attack and you should be able to hit her. Honestly, I haven't tried any of the other Relic Attacks but feel free to use anything that you like and let us know in the comments whether it worked for you or not. Number 4. Shield Attack Hold down the L1 button and press L3 to fire the Shards of the Valkyrie at her. This by far is the quickest way to damage her. 
However, if you're looking to speed everything up, equip everything, and I mean everything in your equipment that increases your cooldown. This will increase the refresh time for your runic and relic attacks, which means you can use them a lot quicker. After you have brought Gana's HP bar down to zero and you see the R3 prompt, just restart your checkpoint. And Gana will be there right in front of you. Approach, press R3, and that's it. Gana defeated, no damage. Brag about it to your friends if you like. I hope this video helped you in understanding how the glitch works and how to hit her when she's down in the lava. Please make sure to read the description of this video for any future updates. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.